Evernote is, of course, known for its note-taking capabilities, but what you may not know is that it can actually convert text into helpful diagrams. I want to show you how. Plus, we're going to also answer a viewer's question about problems with printing notes from Evernote. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. Now, in addition to all these videos that I post and all of my online courses, I work with people just like you on a one-on-one -on -one basis to help set up an Evernote system that will work for you. It's really the ultimate customization because I get to find out what your needs are and then I get to help you design the perfect system that will work for you. So I'd invite you to become one of my many satisfied coaching clients. If you want more information, just go to daveedwardsmedia.com slash Evernote. So Evernote has become synonymous with note-taking, but we both know that sometimes the best notes aren't always in text. I mean, what's the saying? A picture is worth a thousand words? And while it's easy to import an image into Evernote, what if Evernote could take your text and help you adapt it or change it to a helpful diagram? You can do that with their latest tool called AI Diagram. For now, this is what Evernote calls a satellite feature, meaning it's something that you could use, but it's not yet built into the Evernote app. It's on a standalone website, evernote.com slash AI hyphen diagrams, and that will take you to this page. Now, if you have information that you would like to create either into a flowchart or a mind map, you can type it in here or you can upload files. In this case, uh, I'm going to add some text. And uh, this is going to be on the methodology of GTD, getting things done. Something that I'm passionate about. Let's just paste this in here. Uh, it's just as simple to upload files, but you know, in this case, I just had it saved on my clipboard. So now let's see what happens when we say, okay, we want a flip chart, we want a flow chart that represents all of this information because, you know, this text is well and good, but it is kind of long and it includes a lot of different elements. And let's see what Evernote's AI diagrams does with this. So we hit the generate button. And it takes a couple of seconds. Analyzing the instructions, creating the flow chart. I don't know what this would do with, uh, you know, diagramming brain surgery, but I think it should be able to handle the GTD methodology pretty simple. And there it is. Uh, let's uh, analyze this here. Okay, so it has uh, the major principles here off of engage. It has the goal of GTD and the target goal here. Uh, okay, and this so this makes sense. This is sort of the initial steps. And then the, the major steps of GTD include capture everything then clarify. So that's a good flow. Asking yourself if it's actionable. If the answer is yes, then you decide on the next action, whereas if it's no and it's not actionable, then you have these options. And then it's organized, organized by categories. So it hit all of the major elements uh, that, uh, that were represented in the text. From here, you have the option to save it to Evernote, copy it to a clipboard, or download it uh, if you'd prefer. I'm going to save this to Evernote. And within a matter of seconds, there it is. It's now inside of Evernote. Let's go back uh, to the original page here. Just because I want to start from scratch, I'll paste in the same material. But this time I'm going to say create a mind map. And once we have that clicked, we'll hit generate give it a few seconds to work. Well, that didn't take long at all. That was about eight seconds. And here is the mind map. 
okay, this makes sense too. I'm, I'm personally not a big mind map person, but it does begin with the core strategies and works from here. Um, Okay, so here are all of the elements of GTD. This is a little bit clunky, but uh, you know, basically we're not doing a flow chart here, and I'm always looking for flow charts. But again, you can copy it uh, to the clipboard, or you can download it, or you can save it directly into Evernote. And we'll save it to Evernote. Now, I view these satellite sites as uh, kind of like sandboxes. These are places uh, on Evernote's website where they can introduce new features and, uh, and improve them, letting us play with them. And then, uh, you know, if they take off, if they work and people are, are uh, you know, happy with them, then they can probably, will eventually be rolled into uh, the Evernote app. And I've, I've shown you some of these before. Um, such things as transcribing files to text and converting files from PDF to Word or something else, editing PDFs and images, rewriting text with AI, converting text to audio, taking and drafting notes, and detecting AI-generated content. I suspect that some of these uh, options will eventually uh, be moved into the Evernote app. But this is, uh, as I said, I consider this to be the, the sandbox uh, for, uh, for Evernote's work. If you're interested, you can probe their terms of service and their privacy policy. If you're interested in playing around with AI diagrams, once again, I'll remind you that the website is evernote.com slash AI hyphen diagrams. I can see this feature being very helpful to students, for example, or anyone who works in an environment where you're uh, compiling flowcharts for projects. So I'd encourage you to check it out. As you know, I like answering questions from my viewers. This week's question was actually posted on uh, a YouTube page just like this. And it's not really a question. It's kind of more like an observation or, I don't know, maybe a plea for help. Jan wrote, I just wish they would make printing work better. <laughs> yeah, the old printing issue. Uh, when I first started using Evernote, printing a note or anything that you had in Evernote was, was nearly impossible. I mean, I'd take notes in a meeting, and, and that was before you could just email a link to uh, uh, your note to someone. And uh, I would then try to print the note uh, to share it with people who were in the meeting. And it never looked right. I mean, the fonts were too large. It was a jumbled mess. And so I just kind of gave up with that idea. Now, printing from Evernote is still not perfect, but it's a whole lot better than you may remember if you haven't used it in a while. And quite frankly, I print a lot with people who prefer paper over digital. To print an Evernote note, you want to open the note and then click on the three dots in the upper right corner and then click on print. Seems simple enough, right? Here's the trick that I think uh, some people miss out on. Uh, you can scale the size of the note. So if you have something that's really, really large, you can actually set the, the appropriate scale uh, before you print the note. You can also come down to more settings, and this is where you decide what is the size paper that you'll be printing on, uh, the, whether or not you're going to customize uh, the margins. Do you want a color note or a black and white note? Uh, or do you want to print this as two-sided or single-sided? You can also include page numbers uh, if you would like, and where you want to put them, you can designate that here as well. Then you hit the print button. Now, if you want to print multiple notes, you press uh, shift and click uh, on the notes that you, uh, that you want to print. You will see an indication that you have three notes selected. And what you want to do is you'll want to hit file and then print from your menu bar. It's already saying print notes, which should give you a clue. And now you can see it uh, has previewed for you all of the notes 
uh, that you have highlighted. And again, you can come over here and make all of the adjustments that you need for your settings and how you want them uh, to be printed. You got a question about Evernote? Email them to me, Dave Edwards at Outlook.com or post them below and I'll try to get to your question in a future episode. I really look forward to hearing from you. And don't forget, if you're interested in some one-on-one -on -one coaching to help design your Evernote system, man, I'd really love to talk to you and help you out. Uh, just go to DaveEdwardsMedia.com Evernote for more information.